<clears throat> so we finished the the, the Har Grizim and the Har Evel <clears throat> that all the 12 tribes were standing six on one, bottom and six on the other. And the Levites, Levites and the Kohanim were standing in the middle and they blessed all the Jewish people <clears throat> with all these blessings if you do them. And then each one of them also was connected with a curse if you don't do. Right? So we went, we went through them quickly. Said, for instance, blessed is the one who does not trick a blind person. And then afterwards they would turn to, they would say Mount Grisim, and then they would turn to Mount Abel, and then they would say the curse. Why only the curses are written here and not the blessings? I don't know. That's what God wanted. <clears throat> Good question. But that's the way it is. Cur blessed is one who does not have relations, sexual relations with his with his sister. And then they would turn to Mount Greece, to Mount Abel and say what it says here. Cursed is one who has sexual relations with, <clears throat> or with his mother-in-law, etc. Okay. <clears throat> Cursed is, uh, blessed is one who does not take a bribe. Then they would turn to Mount Abel and say, Cursed is the one who takes a bribe. It takes a bribe. Bribe. All right, now we're going to listen. Here, this is where we're going to start today's. Today's reading. Bhaya, and it will be. Im if. Bhaya is past present, but there's a vav in front of it, so it becomes transforms to the future. And it will be. If you listen to the voice of God, do all of his commandments, that I am commanding you today. They're coming through Moses and also the he repeat, repeated the whole Torah. Then God will make you higher. I'll call Goye Oretz on all the nations of the world. Right? Like the teacher is higher than the pupils. <clears throat> there will come all these blessings <clears throat> and they will catch up to you they will grab a hold of you the blessings because you listen to the voice of God here's a nice one let's learn the Kliyakar <clears throat> says, why will all these blessings come to you? Being in because, heyotam, you will be elyon, higher. I'll call Goye Oretz and all the other nations of the world. Neymar, therefore it says, Unatan Hashem, that God will give to you. Tala Adavar Bakarish Baruch Then, it says, because you will be higher, so God will give you these blessings. Right? It says, that God will give you these blessings. Right? God will give you these blessings and he'll keep you higher than all the other nations. It's just like this. Listen to this. Because when we see the other blessings, it says that the blessings will come to you. They'll come on their own. This implies who is running after the Jews that they say that these blessings will catch up to you. So one second, God gives it, or they they will come on their own. What's happening? So he explains like this. Listen, he's going to explain there's two different types of blessings. Abiru shekala rodei fachri asurera. Anyone who pursues greatness, he borachat nimenu. It will run away from him. On the other hand, it says haboreach min asurera. Anyone who flees from greatness, who doesn't want greatness, then the highness will run after him. But greatness will, will pursue him. <clears throat> it says the Kliyakar. Kliyakar is, is uh, was it Lunchitz, Rabbi um, Shlomo Lunchitz. He lived in the same time as the Maharal of Prague. 
Yeah, they lived together actually in Prague. He was he was younger than the Maral in Prague. He became the rabbi after the Maral in Prague. Vasura says greatness is the source of all the blessings. Why? Because whatever the servant acquires, the rabbi, the, 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 the master, his master also acquires. So in other words, if you become the fichach, therefore, it says that God will put you above everyone. This is the greatness. That's not really fitting to you that you should run after it. You're just a servant. Nevertheless, says God will give it to you. You're just serving God. That's the only thing. You're just a servant. You'll get the blessings automatically. Therefore, after God starts giving you blessings, then greatness will run after you. And it'll grab a hold of you. First of all, it says that because you doing what God wants and you're a servant. So therefore, whatever, you become sort of like the master. You will be that, then God gives you a little bit like the master. Isn't it highness? Then from after that, you won't have to even think about it. It'll come after you. You will be called a high people, a great people. And because of this greatness, then all the blessings will come on their own. Hokim because they will come because of your greatness that runs after you. Also, all the blessings that will run after you without you'll have to even try to grasp them. Why? Because of your greatness. As soon as everyone sees, and as soon as you become elevated, and you become God's people, so all the blessings automatically come to you. Even even if you try to be humble and you say, listen, who am I and what am I? And nevertheless, the greatness will, everybody will say, no, 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 no you're, you're a Jew. You're one of God's people. <clears throat> because you will require all the blessings of all the nations of the world. Because whatever the servant gets, the, the master gets. An interesting thing just popped into my mind. I just remembered something. Uh, when I was young, so um, I lived in in a, a city. It was Oak Park. It was almost you know very very big Jewish uh, concentration. No one was religious. There was no such thing in Oak Park. Nobody was a religious Jew. At least unless if they did, maybe they were in their house or something. But nobody, basically, nobody even knew what the Jewish religion was. You know, they knew there was a few things. That, right, Rosh Hashanah and Kippur. Anyway, so me and my friend one day we decided we wanted to buy some beers. We were like, I don't know, 15 years old, 13. So we forged passports. We forged the ID. And we went outside. We walked, I don't know, you know, a mile or something like that. And we went to um, <clears throat> to a, 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 a drugstore, a beer store, whatever it was. And um, we said, here, we, we got a six pack or something. We wanted to buy the beers. And we gave them our false IDs. And the owner of the store looked at us and said, you boys are Jewish, aren't you? And like, we never really heard that question before. You know, we didn't, we didn't think it was any sort of an issue whatsoever. And we had never encountered like anti-Semitism or something like that, even though we knew that you know, there was the Holocaust, but it was no big deal. We didn't, nobody thought about it. So we said, yeah, you know, we're Jewish. So he said, well, Jewish boys, they don't drink. You boys don't drink. So we were like really surprised, you know, we were very surprised. Jewish boys don't drink. We said, yeah, yeah well, we, we, we want it for our fathers, you know. And we were already into the world of lies anyway, because we forged the passports. And our fathers wanted it. He said, okay, you know, fathers, but you, you, it's the Jewish people don't drink. Jewish people, they usually don't drink. I said, okay, you know. And he sold it to us. I don't even remember what happened afterwards, but okay. And so he says the Kliyaka that because you will achieve God will give you greatness, so all the blessings will come. You will be blessed in the city, you will be blessed in the field. Because that's the name says not something nice. What does it mean? You will be blessed in the city, namely the, the commandments that you do in the city, like sukkah and a mezuzah and a ma'akeh. Ma'akeh is the fence around the top of your house. 
and you'll also be blessed in the in the field. What do you mean? The mess, the, the commandments of leftovers of your field. You're supposed to leave them for the the poor. Another explanation, davar acher. Another explanation is boruch ba'ir. You will be blessed in the field, and, and you will be blessed in the city. That's Jerusalem. The Jerusalem is called Irakot. It's called the holy city, and will be blessed in the field. This is talking about Zion. Zion is all of Israel. Like it says, that it's one of the curses, I think. What is it in, in Jeremiah? That Zion will be like a plowed up field after the destruction of the temple. <clears throat> the word Zion means a lot of different things. It means Sometimes it means Jerusalem. Sometimes it means all of Israel. Sometimes it means the Jewish people. Okay, so it's going on with these blessings. If you do what God says, then you will really be blessed. You will be blessed in the city. You will be blessed in the field. You will be blessed in the pre bitnacha, the fruit of your womb, pre admasacha, the fruit of your fields, pre vehemtacha, and the fruit of your animals. Shkar alafecha, fa'asho sonecha, the, the, um, here he says, uh, the, 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 the children from your cattle, says, Vladus bakorcha, the ema, because an animal, mishagiris, the animal, says, pushes the animal, its, its babies out from the womb. And ashtot sonecha, these are the offspring of your sheep. Uh, it says here, what does he say? It says like ketargumo, like the translation. This uncle is translated, and there's Yonatan ben Uziel also translated. <coughs> and um, your yeah, uncle was a, a convert, right? It, it says... To Ebrei Anach. Anach is a sheep. Aramaic for sheep. The offspring of your sheep. And that's what he says. That's what they call estros because they make their owners rich. That's why it's estros, ashir. Boruch tanacha omish artecha. Blessed is your... Uh, there's different meanings of this, but generally uh, the uh, fruits... And your um, uh, the dough and your trough. You'll see the different meanings here. It says, he says, Tanacha, these are your fruits. Another meaning is Tanacha, it says, this is wet, wet things that you have to strain them, wine, who knows, oil. And you strain them through um, so baskets, wicker baskets. Misharatecha means dry things that remains in the vessel. Okay, some say that this means your the dough and your blessed are you when you were coming, blessed are you you when you go out. What does that mean? Rashi says, You blessed when you go out, when you go out from the world. When you die, you will die without any sins. Just like when you came into the world without any sins. Right, that's what Rashi says. May God make all of your enemies that stand against you run from you. Megafim, <clears throat> they will be smitten before you. In one way will they come out to war against you, and in seven ways will they run away from you. And then they, they'll all come unified, and they'll run away scattered. Says Rashi, that's the way it is with people who are like startled and afraid. They run away. And they don't pay any attention. They don't run away in any orderly fashion. Right? When they run away, they run away all scattered all over. Yitzav. So your enemies will run away from you. Yitzav Hashem, God will command the blessing, the asamecha. Asamecha means like in your storehouses. Ubakal mishlach yadecha, and everything you put your hand to, business, whatever. Uberechcha ba'aretz, you will be blessed in the land which God is giving to you. No tain is giving to you. <clears throat> Here is the. Um, God will bless your storehouses because it says 
The tigs are Omer v'yakomloch. What does it mean that God will command itcha with you the blessing? To say God will give you a blessing. What does it mean? He will command with you. So the Kliyakar says a very interesting thing. Here God is giving the Jews the power to bless. Lefi, because it says, v'tigzor omer v'yakomloch. It says in Job, the book of Job, that you will decree, and whatever you decree, it will be uh, fulfilled to you. When a tzaddik makes decrees, when a tzaddik, a righteous Jew, makes decrees, a Kodesh Baruch Maskim, God has to agree with them. Like, for instance, it says by Joshua, when he fought against the, 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 the what is it, in, 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 in the city of uh, Jericho, it says, Shemin, I'm sorry, when he came into the land of Israel, so it says, Shemesh Begivon Dom, that the sun stood, stood, stood still. It wasn't in Jericho. It wasn't, they attacked him. He was attacked, and he fought against his enemies, and he beat them, but the sun was going down. So God made it that the sun did not go down. And Elijah, the, uh, Elijah said, with the the he gave a blessing to a woman that a, a vial of uh, flour would never stop. And in Tinius, it talks about Rabbi Chinin of Mendoza. There's a whole series of miracles that Rabbi Chinin of Mendoza did. It says, Iko Nimtu Kishurayach. I, I really don't remember which one this is, but there's one miracle over there where his daughter took by accident, instead of taking a bottle of oil for uh, lighting Shabbos candles, she took a bottle of, of vinegar instead, and he made that light instead. Okay. Okay, a lot of them. This is not what it is. It's something that you have to look and see. There are similar like this. Anyway, big miracles that were done by Rabbi Hanina Ben Dosa, and etc. The <clears throat> so when the tzaddikim, when they make a decree, so God fills, like it's, that's what it says, that's what it means God will command with you the blessing. When you command a blessing, then God will agree with you. He will agree, yaskim, on the blessing that was commanded, that you command. God will make you for a holy nation like he swore to you. It's big enough, must be. No. Ki tis more because you have kept the commandments of God, your God, and you have walked in his ways. Says the Ramban, Rab Moshe ben Nachman, says, Yikra Shavuos, a Shavua Habrit. This is the oath, uh, the, the covenant that God made with you on Mount Sinai on all of these things. Because on Mount Sinai, it says, you will be for me, right before God gave the, the Torah on Mount Sinai, it says over there in, in, in Parshat Yitro, in the book of Exodus, you will be for me a nation of priests and a holy nation. <clears throat> that's, that's what it means. That if you keep my commandments, God is promising that I'll strengthen the covenant I made with, on Mount Sinai and also, also or the covenant that I made with Abraham. That I made with Abraham also the same covenant. He said, I will be for you to a God and your children after, after you. <clears throat> it's also, that will strengthen that one also. And also it says, in order that you will be today We'll see later on, a little bit later on in, in this chapter, that you will be a nation and God will be for you for a God, just like he swore to you. Kikashir, just like he swore to our forefathers, Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, all of them that come in this covenant. So this is very important to repeat this covenant over and over again, because there's always <clears throat> Jews and non-Jews and that say that, you know, maybe at once the, the Jews were chosen or something by God, but for sure not anymore. For sure, not anymore. The the, the Muslims say that the, the, the Jewish people lost the Torah. It doesn't say, you know, that it, even if there was once a Jewish people, it's a whole different thing now. And other people say, no, the Torah is misinterpreted. The Jews, Jews don't know how to interpret it properly. There's the, 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 the evil Pharisees, you know, the, what is it? How do they call them? The yeah, Pharisees. <clears throat> that they are tricking you. And, 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 
<clears throat> and then there's always all these Jews that say, hey, let's, let's just, just let's just forget about this Torah business and you know just make ourselves into a nation like everybody else. It says, you know, all these ideas are based in uh, how do you say that they're very justified from a, a, what do you say a natural point of view, but the Jews are not natural. God made a covenant with the Jews that no matter what happened naturally in the world, even if there's only one Jew left, and there always will be, that God has a covenant with you. And that one Jew will find another Jew. And those two Jews together, they'll find 10, 15, and all of a sudden they'll come popping out like the stars in the sky on a dark night. Right? If you look up in the sky, you see only one star. You keep looking up, your eyes adjust, all of a sudden you see two stars, and then you see 100 stars and 500 stars. That's the covenant that God made, that the Jews will be like the stars of the sky. Okay. All the nations of the world will see that the name of God is called on you, and they will be afraid of you. I mean, get ready, because we haven't started the 98 curses yet. Well, these are only, this is the good stuff. It says the Balaturim, Shem Hashem Nikra. That's the first letter, Shin Yud Nun. Shin. Shin, this is the letter Shin, which is on the tefillin, on the head tefillin. There's two shins, right? On, the, on the one side, there's a shin that sticks out. On the other side, there's a shin that's indented. It has four. And they will be afraid of you. What does it mean they'll be afraid of you? Here it says, the Hosir God will increase you for good. To say that in the merit of tefillin, therefore your days will be increased. Like it says, Hashem Aleichem Yichiyu. Like it says, God is on you. The name of God is on you. Yichiyu, you will live. <clears throat> God will increase you for good. The fruit of your womb, the fruit of your animals, the fruit of your earth, even more than the land. <clears throat> Allah, I'm sorry, what you, what on, on the land that God promised your forefathers to give to you. Uh, Saffron says that you will tre have tremendous success in everything that you buy and in addition to that <clears throat> you'll have more success I'm sorry again oh. you will be more successful than all the other successful people right all the other Non-Jews or Gentiles, they'll all be millionaires, you'll be billionaires. They'll all be billionaires, you'll be trillionaires. Right? What do you need? You need so much money. What do you have to have so much money for? So the answer is, listen, it's God's money, and God is giving it to you. You'll find good things to do with it. Right? What do you how many how many steaks can you eat? How many uh whatever it is, the cars can you buy? You know, so you buy a, a thousand Maseratis, you know, what are you gonna do with them? So the answer is, is no, you're not, you won't have to buy a thousand Maseratis. You take all that money and you'll be able to <clears throat> buy <clears throat> new uh, books to educate everyone, new uh, medicine to heal everyone, <clears throat> right? make new music to make everybody happy. Whatever it'll be, you'll be, nothing will be lacking for you. And if there's other people that are also rich and there's not lacking for them, you'll have you'll be even richer. And these blessings, the these are blessings which are in the second temple, especially we saw. Tremendous success the Jewish people have. Yiftah Hashem, God will open up his storehouse, his good storehouse. What's his good storehouse? The heavens. And he'll give rain of the land in his time, and he will bless. Everything, all of your hand work, hand work, and he will give you, and the nation, the nations of the world, they will loan to you, and you'll never have to loan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The nations in the world will borrow from you, and you will never have to borrow from them. God will put you as a head, not as a tail. You will only be high, and you will never be below, because God, you listen to the commandments of God, that I am commanding you to do. Ramban says, what does it mean? You will be for a head and not for a tail. You will be a head 
of all of the other nations, and those you will be a leader, and you will not be a tail like the Jews are now, right, in the United Nations and etc. that we're always worried about, you know, what's this nation going to say, what's this nation going to say? You won't be a tail to any one of the nations, <clears throat> because Yitachen Shiyel Arosh Al Amim Rabim, the son of Lamacher, could be maybe you'll be the head of all the nations, but you'll just be, let's say, subservient only to America or only to Russia, whatever. <clears throat> that God will make you for a head forever and never ever following anyone else. <clears throat> From all of the, at any of the times. And also you'll always be above and you'll never be below forever. Now as the Jewish people, everyone will say, oh, the Jews are special. I got it. I met a Jew today. Oh, a Jew. Did he give you a blessing? Of course. Just... In other words, let's say it another way. The Jews will never have to take from anyone. The Jews will only give. That is the dream of the Jews. The dream of the Jews is that they will only give to others and they'll never have to take from anybody. But one thing, remember, do not turn away from all the things that I'm commanding you today, not to the right, not to the left. Don't go, to be too severe. Don't be too lenient to go after other gods and to serve them. There's a big temptation to go after these other gods because it's usually easier to do idolatry than to serve God. If you want to serve the God of the Jews, so you have to really work on yourself and fix yourself up. Right? The other gods, you go and you bring them an apple or something and you're, you know, you're in. You're in. <clears throat> so that's the essence of the Jew. What happens if you don't? Don't talk about it. Tomorrow we'll learn about this. Oh, tomorrow is Wednesday. I, there won't be a class tomorrow. There won't be a class. My son is printing a Tanya. He lives in Miron and I will not be here tomorrow afternoon. In the morning I will be here, but I will not be here tomorrow. So we are spared all the 98 curses. You can do it on your own. And like I, we learned in the Yom Yom today, that when the second Rebbe of Chabad, when he was just a child, when he heard someone else other than his father read this Torah portion with all the curses, he became very sick. So it's because when his father read it, he didn't hear any curses. He didn't hear any curses. Okay, let us now do Pirkei Avot. Yeah. It's a mistake over here.